Good afternoon. Today we will talk about cell biology and genetics, one of the units of the model of hematology, cell biology and genetics. Uh, as you know, this model has 15 credits and cell biology and genetics will cover 8 credits. Now let's talk about my identification. I am called Emmanuel Weiser. You see on the screen now mobile phone and emails. As you know, when the lecturer starts teaching, it means he has to make some communications or with the students. I think you need my phone numbers and emails in order to communicate. I think it is not because it is not easy to communicate with each of you. I will be needed the, the phone number of your class representative and the class email. Now let's go to the definition of biology because as you know biology comes from a greek word bios life and the local science uh, in our sessions we will describe the structure of the cell and we will try to to see how the cell come from pre-existing cells by cell division and as you know there are three main types of cell division there is mitosis, meiosis and binary fission and concerning the cells you remember that uh, there are two main types of cells according to the structure there are prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells i think we will be able to now to know the characteristics of each of those types of cell now the unit has two parts we will describe the structure of the cell in the parts of cell biology and we will talk about the cell division where we describe uh, in detail the cell cycle and life cycle now the second part concerns the genetics in genetics as you know the genetics concerns the transmission of characteristic genetic characteristics from one generation to another through always gametes and as you know those gametes are provided always by one of the three types of cell division which are meiosis mitosis and binary fission precisely gametes are provided by meiosis one of the main types of cell division for the all living things now as I said there are two early chapters concerning concerning with cell biology part. So we talk about cell structure and the functions of the cell and its components. Then we will talk about cell division where we will describe the processes by which the cells are produced. Now, as you remember, in the living world, there are two main cells, and as you know, cell, a cell is composed by organelles. Now, if you divide the organelles into small parts, you, will, uh, you can go to the molecules, and as you know, we have all studied chemistry and we know that the molecules are composed by different atoms the, now that is microanatomy now when you go from the cell to the to the macroanatomy you know that the, uh, for example in the human being organism the cells organize or the combination of the cells makes tissues now many tissues many tissues can can be combined to make organs you know many different organs in the uh, for example in the organism of a human being now organs make a system and now the systems make a whole or entire multicellular organism 
Now here, here we have the sum, the definition of tissues, organs, the organ system, and the multicellular um, organism. Now, there is what we call a cell theory in biology. Now, by that cell theory, you can know the relationship between or the cell theory has mainly six elements. These six elements explain or indicate the relationship between microanatomy where we, de we, we, we describe the structure of a cell and its components and their function with macroanatomy where macroanatomy describes the tissues, organs, systems which make a multicellular organism like a human being. Now let's try to understand the, 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 the elements of cell theory. The first one says that all living things are made up of one or more cells. The second says that the cell is the basic structural and the functional unit of all living things. The third one says that all cells come from pre-existing cells by cell division. The fourth one is cell contains hereditary formation which pass passes from cell to cell during the cell division. The fifth one says that all cells are basically the same in chemical composition. And the last element says that all energy flow of life occurs within the cell. You see that each of these six elements has a relationship with the cell. Now let's try to give some explanations or some discussion within each of these six elements. All living things are made up of one or more cells. This means that uh, some living organisms which contain only one cell. And we know that those organisms are called unicellular organisms. It means one cell makes an entire organism. Now, and we know that there are some cells, organisms which contain many cells. Those organisms are called multicellular organisms. It means in the, uh, in the organism of a multicellular, there are many cells. Now, in those kind of organisms, the cells which have the same structure and accomplish the same function, they are combined into a tissue. Now the tissues make make organs. The organs make a system, and the, the sum of the systems makes an entire multicellular organism. Now the second one is the cell. Says that the cell is the basic structure and the functional unit of living cells. But I think we will talk about it next time because now today. You can stop by here. Hmm? Uh,